Chapter 5 of Philip K. Dick's novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, features a scene in which Rick Deckard, a bounty hunter tasked with identifying and retiring, destroying rogue androids, administers a test called the Voigt Kampf test to Rachel Rosen, who may be an android. The test is designed to measure emotional responses in order to distinguish humans from androids. The test's effectiveness is in question, as it previously failed in Rachel's case. In this passage, we see Rick's professional and moral dilemma as he realizes that the Rosen Association may have intentionally set him up to undermine the Voigt Kampf test. They offer him an owl, but in return, they want the complete brood of offspring from that owl. As the passage progresses, Rick insists on retesting Rachel, even though she's reluctant. When he mentions his briefcase is made of genuine human baby hide, he observes her reaction closely and detects the delayed response on the Voigtkampf test. This reaffirms his faith in the test's accuracy. At the end of the passage, it's revealed that Rachel and the Rosen Association have programmed her as a sales device for emigrants, and that the owl they offered is artificial. Rick realizes he is up against Nexus 6 androids, a more advanced and dangerous type of android. The passage reflects themes of identity, deception, and the blurred lines between humans and androids, which are central to the novel's exploration of what it means to be human. Question! Why is the Rosen Association attempting to manipulate Deckard? What was their goal? They were attempting to manipulate and convince him to declare Rachel Rosen, who is suspected to be an android, as human. Their goal was to undermine the effectiveness of the voigt kampf test, which Deckard uses to distinguish between androids and humans. By having Rachel declared as human, they aimed to show that the test was unreliable thus enabling other Nexus 6 androids to go undetected on Earth. The Rosens wanted to protect their android creations from being hunted down by bounty hunters like Deckard. Question! What is the dilemma Deckard faces with Rachel and the Rosen Association? Rick Deckard is faced with a dilemma regarding the authenticity of the Voigt Kampf test and its ability to distinguish between humans and Nexus 6 androids. The situation becomes a moral and professional dilemma for him. On one hand, he suspects that the Rosen Association is attempting to manipulate the test results to protect their Nexus 6 androids and undermine his work as a bounty hunter. On the other hand, he is aware that the voigt kampf test may not be foolproof, and if it fails to identify Rachel Rosen as an android, it could mean that the test is flawed and may mistakenly categorize humans as androids. This raises questions about the ethics of his job and the potential consequences of his decisions, especially in a society where androids are a significant part of the population. Deckard must navigate this dilemma while dealing with the knowledge that other Nexus 6 androids are still on the loose and need to be retired. In the context of the novel, when Rachel says, instead we'd lie the other way around, she is referring to the possibility of her and her uncle, Eldon Rosen, falsely confirming Deckard's assessment that she is an android rather than a human. This would mean they would be deceiving Deckard by allowing him to believe that he correctly identified her as an android based on the Voigtkampf test. The reason behind this deceptive strategy is that if Deckard were to misclassify a human as an android, it would put his career and possibly his life in danger, as bounty hunters are required to correctly identify androids and retire them. Rachel is suggesting that rather than revealing the true nature of the test results, they could manipulate Deckard's judgment to ensure he didn't retire her or take further action against her. Essentially, Rachel is indicating that they could have chosen to lie and let Deckard believe she is an android to protect her own identity and well-being, 
even though it would be a false representation. This reflects the complex and morally ambiguous situations presented in the novel, where deception and manipulation are common in a world where humans and advanced androids are often indistinguishable. Question. Is Rachel shocked to know that she's an android or she is shocked because Rick found out the truth? Rachel is not shocked to learn that she's an android. She had prior knowledge of her true nature. Her shock and distress arise from the fact that Rick Descard, the bounty hunter, detected that she might be an android during the Voig Kampfif test. Rachel is surprised and worried that Descard's testing revealed her identity as an android and she is concerned about the consequences that might follow. Her shock is related to the fact that she was exposed as an android rather than her own realization of her identity. In the novel comic, there are a few key points that suggest Rachel was already aware of her true nature as an android. One, she mentions that she had taken the Voigt Kampf test before. This implies that she has been in situations where her status as an android was tested in the past. Two, when Deckard asks her about the repercussions of failing the test, she responds, in a police dragnet, I would have been killed. This indicates that she has knowledge of the consequences of being identified as an android, further supporting the idea that she knows her true identity. Three, Rachel is also aware of the risk of roadblocks and flying wedge spot checks, suggesting that she has experience in evading detection as an android. These elements in the text suggest that Rachel already knew she was an android and was well informed about the risks and consequences. Her shock and concern in the conversation with Deckard stem from the fact that he uncovered her identity rather than her own realization of it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe for more. If you didn't like it, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Peace out.